Hello, this is a quick demonstration of the multi chart crosshair indicator for MT4. Uh, at the moment, I just have MT4 loaded. I've got three charts open. Uh, none of the charts have any indicators or objects loaded. There's nothing in the list. Um, so if we start off, I'm just going to drop the indicator into the top chart. Uh, I'm just going to accept all the defaults at this point in time. Um, so now, now we're actually ready to go. As you can see, there's there's nothing added to the chart. There's nothing visible. Uh, there is just the indicator loaded. Um, but if we start with changing from the NASDAQ 100 on the top chart, by dragging it in there, you can see it's changed in the top, but it's also changed here, where we also had the NASDAQ open. But it hasn't changed this chart at the bottom which was a completely different symbol. Um, these charts can be at any time scale, it doesn't matter. It will change any chart of the same symbol. So if we change this one now, um, France 40, we can see it's changed both again. So I change that back to the NASDAQ, pop that back to the five minutes. Uh, so that's the first function. Um, if we now activate the crosshairs, you do that using the shift key and moving the mouse. And as we can see, we've, we're highlighting a, a price on the top chart and the bottom chart, or the sorry, the middle chart is following along um, at the same price and time as the crosshairs on the top chart. Uh, it doesn't um, automatically go to the um, price um, if we change the settings, we can say we want to snap to the nearest price. And then when we move the cursor around, it will snap to either the high, uh, the low, the open or the close um, of the price. And it does that on both charts. This works for as many charts as you've got open. Um, if you can see at the bottom, though, because this is the euro dollar, it's not the NASDAQ, there's no change in this chart. But if we change the bottom chart to be the NASDAQ as well, so we make that, uh, I don't know, the one minute chart, if we do this now, it's automatically enabled down there as well. Interestingly, price is not aligned in my, my data set. I need to do something about that. But that's something else. <laughs> OK, so once we've um, finished, we can take our finger off the shift key and move the cursor. And it's it doesn't move anymore. It's only activated by using the activation key. Um, so if I take my finger off the shift key, it stops moving and I can carry on and do other things. I can come in here, I can start doing drawings. That's all fine. It's still there. To get rid of the crosshairs, you just need to press the escape key and it automatically takes it off all the charts and it moves price um, back to um, the current time. If you don't like that effect, you can come in here and you can say enable scroll to last tick on exit to false. And if I do that, and then if I Press down shift, do that, and then I hit escape. The chart stays exactly where it was. And it doesn't move back. Uh, personally, I don't particularly like that, so I'm just going to turn that on. Um, the other settings you have in here is you, you don't have to use the shift key. You could, you could use the control key instead. Um, personally, I prefer the shift key. Um, and of course, you can change the crosshair colors and the line style. So if you, if you don't like dashes, you can have dots and you can make it any color you like. Let's have lawn green. There we are. If I activate it with the shift key, there we are. The crosshairs are changing all the charts. Now, if you remember, we only added the indicator to the top chart. So it's in here. It's not in here. There is no indicator here or here. So if I sh press down shift 
nothing happens in these other charts um, I can't I can't change the symbol in the other charts it only works on a chart that's got the indicator loaded um, so if you want to um, do a lot of chart reviews I find it better to actually load load the indicator onto all the charts and then it doesn't matter which one you work with it'll it'll um we'll, we'll, it'll follow along for all of them there we are we'll just make sure that they're all the same this bottom one 2000 there we are if I turn it on now don't forget I changed the top one to be green bottom one is blue and it doesn't have snap set this one does and here we are I hope that's been helpful for you um, please uh, go to our website um, to see uh, other products we have if you go to the about box and click on the copyright uh, it will take you straight to uh, the web page uh, you can download uh, we've got some more demos and of course the documentation is available um, here for, multi, for the multi-chart tool um, and also for the installation. I hope that helps. Thank you.